All right, wonderful people, lovers of freedom, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you. Welcome back to Let's Talk TV, your one and only YouTube platform, where they're giving a back-to-back -back update on how it is the be, on how it is the shell for Biafra land and beyond. If you're joining us for the first time, remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too, so that you'll be able to get our news. Anytime we will drop on Bojum, you will be among the first set of people that will get our news ASAP. All right, all right, people also remember to like and share this news too. Okay, my wonderful people, the latest one with the boss brain right now at the moment. We say, I see the hot weather and I so when I go, they get them from us. Hope was a danger. Yes, my people, as you know, say that man. Of course, the things when they do, they off everybody. We do not understand that man's way. A lot of things has been happening in the country or in his state, rather, Imo state, Owere, or Lo, or Kigwe. Most of the things, most of the calamities where they happen for there, now this man cause them, pump and play. And at this particular point, this man don't go cause another wahala as he talk and soon as so he they be. This particular man, of course, we, I don't know if you've heard recently, if you heard about the giving of land to Fulani headsmen for their grazing or for them to be able to go into those lands uh, to, to own the lands that are going to be given to them. Of course, we heard about it that year. At this particular point, yes, Hopo Zodima has just approved that uh, there has been a specific site or plot of land has been given to some set of people. Am I saying some set of people, my people? We are talking about he has approved a set of a plot, some plots of land that should be given to the Fulani headsmen in Imo state, the state where in the rule. My people, what kind of rubbish is this? How is it possible that a man like this would do such a thing to a state that he's ruling? How is it even possible that this kind of thing is what this man would come out and say with his mouth? With the kind of things happening at this point is what hopes of the man, the so-called governor, the so-called Ibu man. Sometimes I think when they, I think about the things or about, about the doings of this man, I think about if he's even if he is even close to being an Igbo man. Because I don't understand how his selfishness and his greediness has gotten to the extent of him actually approving or agreeing to whatever order that was given. That land should be given to Fulani people. For what? What happened to their own lands? Guinea, what, what happened to their own lands? Why can't they use their own lands for whatever it is they want to do? Is anything wrong with their own lands? Is, 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 are they running in their... Even if they are running in their own lands, let them stay there. But then why would a, a governor, an Igbo man, be doing such things, giving them hands, giving them the rights to enter into a land? And my people, this would just mean that anybody that enters that land that is not an, a Fulani man is in trouble because those Fulanis will be able to actually do whatever they want to that person. We know how aggressive those people can be. We know how, how, how very, very aggressive and how wicked they can be. They would be able to, to do whatever they want at any point in time. Just because, of course, it has, been, it has been said that the land is theirs. And I believe you me, this is what these people have decided to do. This is what this set of people have decided to do. Just to give them land and then at the point where they've been given the authority over a land, you are not allowed in that land an Igbo land, you are giving it to a full and person so that he can do what? The amount of oppression they've given us in this country, they've given Indibo in this country is not at all. The amount of oppression and killings they've been doing to Biafrans in this country is not enough. And you're giving them your land on top of it for what to happen exactly. For what for what to happen exactly so that what would happen? My people, it would only turn into things, it would only cause more violence in the country. Because at this point, the Biafra Liberation Army is not going to let it be. You see, every single one of those Lani headsmen, they are in for it. They are going to collect it with water on top, if they do not take time. Because I do not see, in fact, even hope of them at this particular point, is in trouble. Because I wonder how he will be giving such an order to this set of people that have nothing. They have, they have, they have nothing but hatred for us. The only thing they've ever wanted from us is just to kill us, to oppress us, to strip off of everything that looks like we being higher than them. They are not even interested in our progress on any point. That's why they've kept us hostage. That's why they, they do not want us to get our referendum. That is why they do not also want us to actually uh, move forward in anything we want to do. 
and they think it's a joke. On top of it, Hope of Danger is giving them a land in Imo states. For what reason? If none of those things is going to happen, it's not going to take place. If it, it can happen, of course, but then it is not going to be an easy thing because I do not understand how these things happen. The PMBRGIE has been working hard to make sure that things like this do not happen, to make sure that we actually make good movement in things that are taking place that needs to be safeguard, safeguarded fully. It needs people that would actually take care of it at this particular point. And uh, we cannot let the Biafra land be led to, 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 to be led bare for these people to come and prowl into it for full and knees to wake up and just enter into our land and do whatever it is they want. Because of course that is what these people would always want. That is what uh, Hope Zodima have led this these people to enter into Oweri, in most states or wherever it is in Oweri, in Imo state, to do whatever it is they want just because they claim in quotes they are trying to accommodate them. What have happened to the rest of their states over there? It's not enough for them. They are coming over here to do some kind of things they wish. My people, it is not, it is not a, an accommodating system. It is a way to use and encroach into our land and take over the land. Go to Douglas in a way. The news that we are getting right now is that during their, their, their once it happens that it's on Friday and it's time for the atmosphere, you cannot go through, you cannot go on the road on Douglas. The Douglas Road, that is what we are getting at this particular point. You cannot cross because they are all on the road and that place is blocked. Cars do not go through. This is more than an encroachment. This is a takeover they are trying to do in our state. And this is not going to work out. And that is why the Biafra Liberation Army has been saying, if these people make a move against our people, they will collect it out of In fact, at this particular point, we are not waiting. The situation of things now have brought it up to the extent, the range that we do not care if they have done anything. The main thing is that they are not going to succeed in whatever they want to do. And so they are going to be brought down, hit down at any point in time because the, the things they are involved in or their plans is very hideous for Biafra, it's very hideous for Ndibo. And at this particular point, I'm trying to let you know that the most important thing for you to do is to do your own part wherever you find yourself as an evil person for you. As someone that is maybe in, in, in support of the movement or in support of everything that we hold dear in our land. As we all know that PM Simon Network is working on his own part. Yes, that's the truth. As he is currently in Canada now to work on the, 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 the Biafra referendum, the Biafra convention also. That is taking place here, which would make one of the biggest steps we've ever made ever since as he's going to hold in, in Canada. And people, it is not any different from the most, one of the most important things that, that needs to be done. It's one of the big steps we are taking to become better than these people in every sector, in every way. The fact that we brought up our own digital coin, our own currency, is also a big step so that we do not have to, when we have finally gotten this Biafra nation, we do not have to wait. There is nothing like ah we are lacking in this system. Once it comes, the the, the 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 currency is there already for us to pick up and leave. Every single thing is laid in place. If they come up and say, what are the things that are laid in place if your nation is given this if your this duration is being done now? Everything will be placed on the table and they will see that this particular set of people are ready. People keep acting these things are being done. Not these are the reasons why these things are being done. Enough of the dialogue. Dialogue has been done a whole lot of times. Dialogue has been born by a, a map power for them. And they've been, 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 been it's, it's been like a child's play for them. Because of course the government would keep talking to them and keep turning them around. In fact, it's not maybe keep, it's what they keep doing to them. They keep turning them around like they are kids. And they, at the end, there is no progress or whatsoever that these people actually have concerning the whole situation of the country. No progress at all. And if you're not getting any progress from this sort of thing, it means you need to change strategy. And that is what the PM have come to do. That is what the PM entered this whole situation with, a new strategy. We are not going with dialogue again. We are going with violence, giving people back to back. After giving people back to back, we're still making moves internationally to make sure that we are securing our places at the right places to make sure that when the time comes, we will not be caught slacking. We will not be caught slacking at all, at all, at all. We cannot be caught slacking. We know the zones that are the Biafra zones and how it will be divided. These people are not interested in anything. They do not want to let us go. And they, them keeping us in, in Nigeria, they want to keep oppressing Ndigo, oppressing the youths. 
keeping them down, pinning them down, without wanting anything that would that would uh, uh, look into the progress of Ndibo. And that is very bad. And that is why these steps are being taken day and night. Also, that is it. Yes, my people, this is where we come to the end of this particular broadcast. Thank you for joining us. Remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too. Thank you.